Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to begin setting up our actual crafting system. So to begin, I'm going to go down to my file system and create a brand new folder called crafting system. And this is where we're going to store all of our crafting related scripts, scenes and recipes. Now inside of this folder, let's create another one. And this one is going to be called recipes. This is where we're going to store our crafting recipes. Now, Let's go over the basis of what a crafting recipe is going to be. Basically, a crafting recipe is going to contain an item that it's going to create and also a number of different items that are required in order to craft it. Now, this is going to be a custom resource, very similar to our items that we are going to create and basically save to our disk. So then we can use that uh, resource wherever we want. Okay. So to begin, let's right click on crafting system and create a brand new script. And this one is going to be called crafting recipe. Okay, let's open that up. And inside of this script, we are going to delete every single thing here because this is not going to be a script that attaches to a node. Rather, this is going to be a script that references a resource, a custom resource that we are creating. Like I said, with our items over here, okay, item data, these items here are all resources that we can modify in the inspector and then drag in as properties. Um, so that's what, that's, it's sort of the similar vein as that. Okay, so with our crafting recipe script, we're gonna start by giving it a class name. So class underscore name for crafting recipe, just so that if we wanna reference this uh, object anywhere, we don't have to go crafting recipe.gd and give it the link in the file system. Um, setting a class name just makes it a lot easier for then referencing this um, resource later on in other scripts. We're also gonna extend from resource, which is how we can create this as a resource. Now, this script is only gonna contain two variables. The first one is gonna be an export variable called item of type item. And the next one is gonna be an export variable of requirements, okay? And this is going to be an array. Now, in square brackets here, we wanna give the array type. So basically what type of thing do we wanna put in here? But we're not gonna do that just yet because we haven't created that type. And that type is going to be a crafting recipe requirement. Now this is gonna be another resource, but we're not gonna be creating them in the file system. Okay, so I'll explain what that means in a second. So let's go to crafting system, right click on that again, create new script, and we're gonna call this one our crafting recipe requirement. Okay, and in this script, likewise, we wanna give it a class name of crafting recipe requirement. We want to extend from resource and we then want to create two variables. So we'll create an export variable called item of type item and an export variable of type of, or called quantity of type int. So we have crafting recipe and crafting recipe requirement. Now, the requirement is gonna basically be one, one, one sort of item that we need in order to craft another. So for example, let's just say um, we want to craft logs into wooden planks, for example, okay? So if we go to our crafting recipe, the item here, this is gonna be the result of the crafting recipe. So this would be the wooden planks and the requirements, this is gonna be all of the items and how many of that item we need to craft it. So in this case, the array would only have one element and that would be one crafting recipe requirement, which would be logs and quantity, it could be one, okay? or however many we need in order to craft that item. So in crafting recipe here, then what we want to do is we want to set the array to then um, be of that crafting recipe requirement type. Okay, now this may be a bit confusing, um, but once we actually create the resource and see it in action, I think it'll be a bit easier to understand. So let's do that now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on recipes here and I'm gonna create new resource and we are gonna look for a crafting recipe and create that. Now for this one, I'm gonna call it bowl. Now, if we open that up, we'll see that we have our bowl resource right here. We can double click on that and we can see it in the inspector. Now this bowl is gonna basically be an item that we can craft out of one wood. Okay, it's gonna be pretty simple. So for the item property here, we wanna go down to our items folder, item data and drag in bowl, okay? Because this is gonna be the item it gives us. Now for requirements, we want to click on the array here and set the size to be one. 
We then want to click on the empty here and click new crafting recipe requirement. Click on that again. And for the item, we want to drag in wood. And for the quantity, we want to set that to be one. So it is going to cost us one wood to create a bowl. Now, if you have a much more complex item, you might have something like an axe, which requires wood and iron, then you can add multiple different crafting recipe requirements as you see fit. So that is the basis of our crafting recipes. Now, in the next lesson and the rest of the course, we're going to go over actually how we can then set this up um, to have a UI window that we can click on the different recipes to craft them and take the items out of our inventory and add the new item to our inventory. So that is what we're going to be working on in the next lesson, and I'll see you all then.